Good evening and welcome to the National Indoor Arena and the first of our 1993 semi-finals. Our four contenders tonight, who will all be familiar faces to you at home, have already faced the wrath of our gladiators twice, so they're well aware of what lies ahead of them. And two of those contenders, one male and one female, will go through from tonight's show to the grand finals and have a chance of winning £5,000 each. And there's a little bit more because they might be flown to Hollywood to compete on the American Gladiators. Well, that's probably likely to be very exhausting indeed, so we'll pack them off on a holiday to the beautiful island of Barbados as well. Not bad. So let's meet our female semi-finalists. They are Jean Clink and Paula Bisley. Welcome, Jean. Now, I know you've come quite far, not geographically, because I know you're from Hinkley in Leicestershire, but promotionally, so to speak, you've come very far. Yeah, I started off as a standby, and then I got brought in because Lisa got injured in the heats, and then I made it through to the quarters, and now I'm here in the semi-finals. Which is quite incredible, bearing in mind a standby, of course, is no less fit than any of our other contenders. How do you keep fit? I do quite a few different things, really. I practice taekwondo, boxing, running, circuit training weight training when I get time. <laughs> Could you ever dream of reaching the semi-finals? Never in a million years. Got a little bit of support here tonight, have you? Yeah, I've got my family and my friends here. <laughs> so what sort of state of mind are you in, Jean? It's a bit more serious tonight, feeling a bit nervous, but when I've had one or two games, I'm sure that'll settle down. Bit of determination, it could get you through tonight. We'll be watching you very closely. Jean Clank! <laughs> Well, Paula, got any supporters here tonight? Yeah, they're over there. <laughs> well, by judging by that, you've got obviously got an artist in the family. Yeah, my brother Simon, but in a way, we're all artists one way or another. <laughs> so tell us, the last time you were on the show was quite a while ago. Can you and have you been able to get away from the gladiators mentally? No, no, every minute of the day, I can't help thinking about it, even if I don't want to. It's... What about your friends? They keep reminding me, or oh, it's... I will win. No. <laughs> so how are you feeling no, now? No, are you feeling confident? Excited? What? Excited, nervous, and I just want to get it over and done with. Whatever, however I win or lose, I just want to get it over and done with. Well, I'm sure you do well. Paula Bisley! Thank you. So we've met the women. Let's meet the male semi-finalists. They are Dean Hart. And Phil Norman. Dean, your fans and supporters are more notorious than you are now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've followed me all the way, Ulrika, and uh, they're a great bunch of friends. Are you beginning to feel the pressure? Yeah, especially in the semi-final round. Um, the first couple of rounds were hard work, but now we're getting to the nitty-gritty stuff, and it's hard. Now, you've also done, um, you've taken part in the British Army of the Rhine Superstars, and you won that as well. What's that? Um, it consists of eight different events over two days. Uh, cycling, athletics, swimming, and various, various other events. Goodness, you, you're certainly a fit man. So what, what is it that gets you through competitions like that, and even competitions like this? The crowd that get me through this one, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> and the enjoyment of it as well. A, lot, a hell of a lot of enjoyment. Well, I hope you enjoy tonight. We'll see a little bit more of you later on. Dean Hart! Thank you. Well, Phil, got your work cut out tonight. He's a tough guy, Dino. Yeah, he's very fast. It's going to take all i got tonight. Now, you're a very competitive person. Would you say Gladiator is the most competitive thing you've ever done? Yeah, definitely. It's very tough. It's been uh, quite hard all the way through. The uh, competition's been strong. In what way? Um, basically, the, the people we come up against, the other competitors, have been very good this year. Um, just generally all round on everything. Now tell us, because we all want to know, what's it like backstage? I mean, this is, what, this is your third time now coming on the show. What's it like with the other contenders? All good humoured? Yeah, the contenders are great. They're, uh, they're pretty friendly backstage. The gladiators as well. They're really nice backstage. You just want to tear you apart when they get out in front of you. It's a bit different. <laughs> okay, Phil, you better go for it. Off you go. Phil Norman! <laughs> all the best. Well, the women 
Everyone should be ready for their first event now, so here's John Sachs. Thanks, Ulrika. Event one is Skytrack. And Paula's track record on this event is more impressive than Jean's, turning in a winning 10 points last time out. Jet will be tailing Paula, and Falcon flying behind Jean. First across the line, 10 points. Second across, five. No points if you're caught. Three, two, one. And Jean gets a flyer, and Paula's stored on the starting grid. Jet's coming up on the first corner, takes her out. And now it's all about Falcon and the lorry driver. And you know what they're like once they get in the fast lane. And Jean's really put the hammer to the floor. She's motoring now. And all she's got to do is keep on trucking to the finishing line. Yes, she takes the checkered flag and ten points. Jet breaking the sound barrier in that event. It was Paula's bad start that meant that Jet could take her out on that first corner and the sparks flew. Speaking of sparks flying, brace yourself for these two hombres, Cobra, a gentleman of the road, and that old road hog, Wolf. After one event, Jean's on 10, Paula yet to score. In the men's fill in blue in his last two sky tracks, picked up a win and a second place. Dino has only had one outing and picked up the full 10. Wolf will be snapping at Dean's heels. Cobra chases Phil. Three, two, one. And Phil, tremendous acceleration, superb hand feet coordination, which is quintessential for this event. Gap open up, no doubt about it. Phil's gonna take that checkered flag for 10. Last corner, and he takes it. Dino's gonna pick up five for a second place. Contenders in the points and gladiators the pits. So after our first event, Dean five, Phil ten, and all he's ready for event two. Well, in this event, our contenders really have to dig deep and climb high. They have just 60 seconds in which to climb to the top of our 36-foot wall. The first contender to reach the top picks up 10 points, the second contender picking up 5 points. If neither contender reached the top of the wall, they could still pick up a valuable 5 points by clinging on to the face of the wall by the time John Addison blows the whistle at the end of the 60 seconds. Just one minor snag. They'll be chased by two of our gladiators. And indeed, standing at the foot of the wall, it's Paula! And she's going to be chased by Zodiac. I'm there. She's coming. Also contemplating the wall, it's Jean! And she's going to be pursued by Scorpio. Over to John Anderson. Three! They begin their assault on the wall. Both girls shouldn't even be here. Paula replaced Rowan Duxbury in the quarterfinal, and Jean was brought in for Lisa Thompson after that concussion with Zodiac in Powerball. And as you can see, Zodiac now fighting fit as she launches herself after Paula. And there's Scorpio, unbeatable on this wall. And Jean in Scorpio clutches, sting him, sing him, and swing him. Now it's all up to Zodiac. She grabs, she misses! Well, Zodiac surely wouldn't have seen that in her stars this morning. And Paula gets a free climb for those 10 points. And the time is running out. But she's over for 10 points. Yes, surely, Paula is a babe. Paula! Well, Paula, that's the third time you've come out the wall. Did you take the same route as the first time? Well, there was a peg missing this time and it really freaked me out. And I just didn't know what to do, but I've got up. It was a struggle, though, real struggle. Did you know that your gladiator had fallen off, or didn't you notice? Yeah, that helped me calm down when I knew she fell. I just thought, calm down, just get up. It's a lot easier when you know she's down there, isn't it? Uh, a lot easier. Well done, Paula. <laughs> Ten you. points! And that banner says it all. Scores after two events, all evens, 10 apiece. Standing at the foot of the wall, it's Dino! Dino's picked up maximum points on his last two climbs. Who's going to be chased by Saracen? The only one. That's me. 
Also waiting anxiously, it's Phil! And Phil only made second place in his quarterfinals. And he's going to be chased by the Shadow! <coughs> Thanks, Shad. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one! Now we've removed the hand grips from the top of the wall to make it tougher for our semi-finalists, which kind of freaks out Paula in her event. Here comes Trouble, Saracen and Shadow, but look at the speed of those guys. And Dino's going to go over first. But 10 points. And look at Phil. With that grip missing there, it's tough for him to get his body weight over, but he is determined. Yes, five points. A relieved Phil, and Dad relieved too. Congratulations, Dino. Now, you've been here three times, you've done the wall three times, and each time you've got up an incredible time. How do you do it? Uh, when you've got someone chasing you the size of those, John, you do it, believe me. Is there one gladiator that will scare you coming up the wall behind you? Not at the moment, but I'm sure they'll find one for me. Oh, you're doing well. Ten points, Dino. Congratulations. <laughs> well, Phil, it was always going to be tough with Dino. He's a hard, tough competitor, as we said. Yeah, he's always fast up the wall. Any problems coming up the wall? You've done it three times, and you've also got up there, so there's not much problems for you either. Yeah, I found it a little bit harder, but um, I watched Cliffhanger the other day, so uh, I've been watching Stallone for some tips. Well, well done. You got your five points. Well done, Phil. So after two events, all square, 15 apiece. Event three, Powerball, our all-action mix of basketball and rugby. And Gene, last time out in this event, picked up four points, hoping to dunk a few reds today. And Paula trying to bank some blues. The contenders are ready, and they're going to be facing Nightshade, Panther, and Lightning! <laughs> to John Anderson. Contenders, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! And Gene gets a flying start. And Paula brought down. Giovaita gets it in. There's Paula, out of bounds. Look at Gene, totally outthinking Lightning. Gene, slight of bill, but stout of heart. There's Paula for two. And Gene again. Oh, good hands. And look at that unmarked. Paula gets one in there. Gladiators need better tactics. Paula misses. Nightshade making hard work of these tackles. Oh, Gene's given a free ride. Totally unmarked there for two. Oh, Gene sells lightning the dummy. And Paula in the middle for three. Followed by Gene for two. These girls have got the match there. Look at that on the whistle. Tremendous. Look at this, Gene, like Ryan Giggs of Man United, shows great footwork, sends them one way, then the other, puts the ball in the back of the net. Well, Gene, you're not a stranger to this event. Hard, eh? Yeah, very hard. I like this event, though. But you knew exactly what to expect? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Are they tougher or softer than before? Uh, tougher. Well, you got eight points! Oh, well done, Gene. Paula, what were you expecting? Well, I was just covered in lipstick. I'm just, I don't know if it's uh, bruises or lipstick, but that was tough. They've got their act together. It's really hard. And it, oh, your lungs afterwards could explode. Well, I've got good news for you as well. Oh. You've got nine points. Yeah. Well done, Paula. Congratulations, you two. Well done. And let's hear it for our gladiators. Panther, Lightning, and the Deadly Nightshade. Well, more Dudley than Deadly on that occasion. So after three events, Gene's on 18 and Paula powers ahead to 19. Dean and Phil are ready and they're going to be facing Warrior, Hunter and Trojan! Over to 
John Anderson. Contenders, ready! has all the makings of a Wembley Cup final two in there straight away for both fellas Dino another two and loses half a shirt Phil gives him the slip in for two fast action here oh look at that was close it's like a scene from Bruce Willis's Die Hard down there non-stop action and a lot of contact look at that tackle Dean now shirtless but in for two more points he's filling up his barrel think you can do better put down your pizza and beer get off that couch and write in for a contender application form look at this stuff no pain no gain no fame and these guys keep getting up Dino oh Phil Polaxed and straight into another gladiator it's like bumper cars down there Time up, well played, guys. That's what we call action. I enjoyed that. <laughs> so did we. Tell me, we can't understand it being knocked around like that. What do you enjoy at that event? Uh, it's a good physical game. Well, you two, we can't separate them. Six points, six points. Well done, both of you. Congratulations. I will give this to Dino's friends. Trojan picks up a couple of trophies, and after three events, the guys pick up 21 points each. Well, we're just under halfway through our semi-final here, so to bring our contenders just that little bit closer to the Eliminator, we'll kick off event number four, which is Hang Tough. And first up on Hang Tough, it's Gene. Yeah. And she's going to be facing Falcon. Swing time. Jean yet to score in this event. In her previous outings, it's always ended in a matte finish. And Falcon. Well, let's just see how good in the air this bird of prey really can be. Her debut on the rings. Let's see how she swings. Going for the body scissors. And Jean makes a break. Hanging on one ring there. Falcon. Oh! See how Jean gets those legs up to defend herself. And Falcon started in gymnastics and ballet. She'll be going for Miss Britain next year. Oh, this is getting close. Body scissors. And this time she does it. How long can Jean hold on up there? Presses the down button. And what a great debut. Falcon swoops to conquer. Jean falls out of the nest. Another one bites the dust. Jean. <laughs> Despite that look of despair on your face and concentration when she was hanging on to you, you've come off smiling. Yeah, never mind. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> you weren't looking forward to the event then? No. I, I struggle with that because I've not got a very long reach, but never mind. A few more events. Yeah. Well done, Jean! Next up, Paula Bisley. Let's hear the remarkable story of how she joined us in the quarterfinals. I was a standby, and the night previously, I'd um, went out and had eight pints and uh, come back at 2 o'clock in the morning thinking I'm going to have an easy time the next day, no problem. And I just sort of sat backstage in the hangover thinking, oh, well, nothing's going to happen. And then they said, uh, Paula, you're on. Got to get ready. I said, you're joking, because Rowan had food poisoning. And there was me, hung up, upside down, doing the sky track in my head. And I won. I couldn't believe it. So everybody, if you want to win, have eight pints of bitter the night before, and you'll do OK. Paula, of course, kidding. She, like us, would never recommend any form of alcohol before exercise. <laughs> On both her previous swings, Paula has managed to hang tough for five points. 
Hoffman certainly got the swing at this thing. Paula is in the scoring zone, and Vulcan's already in there. Body scissors on, and a smiling Paula, but she's hanging on for dear life. And Vulcan peels her off. Well, Paula went down quicker than those eight pints. Nice T-shirts, lads. Scores after four events, thanks to Falcon, no change. Jean, 18, Paula, 19. And first up in our men's hang tough, it's Dino! And he's up against the Cobra! Dino yet to prove himself in this event, having been brought down to earth on both occasions. But if he carries on with the determination he's shown throughout this competition, surely he has to be a hot favourite for the title and that £5,000 prize money to become a soldier of fortune. Cobra, the joker in the pack, keeps the other glad smiling when things aren't quite going their way. Dino's certainly not going his way. What a change of direction. Cobra quick to counter. Look at how he moves those hips. Slithering towards Dino. He does it again, locks in. That's why they call him the Lord of the Rings. No Bino for Dino. Dean, you were quite resigned to your fate at the end there. Yeah, but uh, one, two ring too many, I think. <laughs> Doing quite well to start with. You missed Cobra, he turned his back on you and you began to take a different course, but then it didn't go to plan. Yeah, uh, I missed the ring that I wanted to go for. And you can't do that when Cobra's around, because he gets you. You're absolutely right, and he did. Well done, Dean, never mind. <laughs> and now it's a real battle of the martial arts expert. Next up against Cobra, it's Phil. Oh, very nice, Phil. Oh, Cobra returns the favour, 15 all. Back to you, Phil. Come on, guys, this is becoming more like an audition for Come Dancing. Cobra says enough's enough, not in this outfit, mate. Let's get the job done. First excursion, he got floored, but in the quarterfinals picked up 10 points for getting to the other side. So this has all the makings of a good hang tough. Both black belt martial arts experts. And look at that, extraordinary. Phil kicking away the ring from Cobra. See that red ring? Oh, Cobra's got it! Oh, Cobra spins round, catches Phil off guard, and splat, flat. On the mat, Phil have some of that. Phil, almost a fatal flaw there, trying to kick Cobra's ring away. Yeah, he kicked my butt up there. You weren't looking forward to this one, were you, really? Uh, no, I'm not so keen on hang tough. Why not? Um, it's, it's pretty tricky up there, you know, you c I can't go where I want to go. But you've got good upper body strength, haven't you? Uh, not for hang tough. <laughs> Well done, Cobra. Terrific. Thank you. There's a bit of pride involved. I had to get him this time because he got on my platform last time. But he's a brilliant martial artist, a fantastic athlete, and I think I was fairly lucky there. <laughs> All the best. You make a lovely couple. Phil and Cobra! Scores after four events. It's all even at 21-21. And up on her platform, waiting to jump, is Jean! And on the other platform, just concentrating very hard, is Paula! And they'll be facing Zodiac! And the lady with the sting, Scorpio!
Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. They're all pumped to jump. Swing out, sisters. And you've got to get up to get down. Those swing shot towers 15 feet in the air. And those shock cords individually adjusted to their body weights. Paula and Jean, though, not getting the swing of this. She goes and good defense there. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Up goes Jean. Nowhere near. Zodiac, our pole vault champion, always does well in this event. Here comes Jean. Oh, just out of reach. But surely somebody's got to pick some points up. Here comes Paul up to the top of the tower. And picks a yellow off. The bank, one point. Up she goes for another. Oh, misses it. Oh, decent defending by the Glads, but not really stretched to the limit there. In fact, the banners are the best thing I've seen in the air in the last couple of minutes. After five events, Jean stays on 18, Paula jumps to 20. Now it's time for the men to take a running jump. And there's Phil. Plenty of bounce to the ounce. So up on his platform, getting ready to swing, is Dino! And on his platform is Phil! They'll be swinging against Saracen! And the Wolfman! Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. The question we want answered is, who's the king of the swingers? And the traffic busy up there, but Phil bags of blue. But left dangling. Dino. And he pulls the blue. Both come down for the... Oh, look at that! The Gladiators couldn't stop them that time. A blue for Dino, a yellow for Phil. Oh, Wolf tangled up with Phil, but Phil still comes away with a blue, and Dino empty-handed. That's worth two in the bank. Oh, just out of reach. Tip of the fingers job there. And Dino... Settles for that yellow. Oh, and Wolf tangles with Dino. And talking of tangles, a little tied up there, Dino and Phil. But they pick up five points apiece. And Phil all over the place there. Well, after five events, it's still all squared. 26 for Dino, 26 for Phil. Event six is Jewel. First up on Duel, it's Jean! And she's going to be facing Lightning! And looking at the stats, only three pounds difference in the weight division, but Jean giving away four inches in height to Lightning. And before battle commences, let's find out what kind of influence Gladiators has had on Jean. I don't think my life will ever be the same again, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. I mean, I've met such a lot of fantastic people, you know, um, everybody's that friendly and that. And uh, One of the guys said to me, life will never be the same again. I mean, what else can follow Gladiators, really? I mean, I don't think there is anything else that can be as good as, you know. I mean, you, the feeling, the nerves and everything, once you get into a few games, but... I mean, all the gladiators and all the organisers are that helpful and that friendly. It's just unreal, really. Three, two, one. Up until now, they've been friendly, but now what Lightning's got on her mind is far from friendly. Jean used to dealing with oncoming traffic, but not as heavy as this. And Lightning determined to make the job count. Great defence by Jean. And taking a lot of punishment. The lightning has really improved in this event. Oh! 
Well, Gene goes the distance, picks up the five points. And in the replay, Lightning hands two big bombs. Gene takes the full impact, and she's still standing. Next up against Lightning, it's Paula. Unlike Jean, Paula has the height advantage over Lightning, two and a half inches, and is carrying an extra nine pounds. Three, two, one! Oh, head to head, toe to toe. These two will never let go. If Lightning's helmet didn't fit, it does now. She'll need a can opener to get that off. How could she see anything? It's like a scene out of Mad Max. Where's Tina Turner? <laughs> Tremendous five points for Paula. Paula certainly is a babe. Well, in the replay, these girls are throwing everything in. Hooks, jabs and uppercuts. More hits than take that and that. My goodness, Paula. You didn't waste any time at the beginning. Straight in there. It's the first time I've done that. In practice, the girl wanted to play a patty cake, so I've never actually done that one before. But it wasn't that hard. But look, uh, now I'm lying. That was really hard. <laughs> I think you were lying. It looked really hard. <laughs> she is so tough. Go. Well done, you pick up five points. Well done, Paula. And let's hear it for Lightning. After six events, Jean's on 23 and Paula 25. And no prizes for guessing who's up next. Dino's even brought his own conductor. First up in the men's duel, it's Dino! And first up on duel this series, it's the awesome Shadow! Well, this is the worst news Dino's had all day. Giving away four inches and six stone to the undefeated heavyweight champion Shadow, I wouldn't even try ringing the bookies. They won't take the odds on this one. Time, how long can Dino stay up there? What evil eye Shadow has, he scares the contender off. What can I say? He takes no prisoners. Well, I lasted a lot longer than I expected, so uh, I didn't do too bad. Almost looked towards the end there as if you were jumping off. Uh, fell off. <laughs> Never mind. Let's hear it for Dean. Well, so far, Dino, everybody's fallen off against this man. And next up against the awesome shadow, it's Phil. Phil giving away three inches and six stone, a martial arts instructor, but even with all his training, you feel he still couldn't shift shadow. Let's see how he feels. I'm a bag of nerves as far as it, it goes. I'm probably the worst person for nerves in all competition. Um, beforehand, it's the waiting that, that just tortures me. Um, tonight, um, adapting the martial arts to the competitions is quite hard because the rules are very specific. There's not that many little things we can do, but I do have an advantage over you know, some of the other contenders. Um, I was very, it was, it was a sort of a lucky shot on with Trojan on the bridge. Um, I believe I've got Shadow tonight on the duel. I'm not going to go down without a fight, but um, at the same time, I'm just going to give it everything I've got again. I'm not just going to fall off there. Everything he's got, and then some. Three, two, one! It's hammer time, and Shadow unloading some awesome knockout blows. Anybody else will be horizontal by now. And Phil keeping a cool head. And a sore one. Keeping his balance and defending for all he's worth. Look at that, Shadow's lost a piece of his pugil stick. He's not only knocking the stuffing out of Phil, he's knocking the stuffing out of his pugil stick. Oh, this is awesome. How does he stay up there? Listen to
to that aggression. And Shadow, the first one to congratulate Phil for surviving that onslaught. And there's Mum, relieved and ecstatic. We've got to see this one again. Phil drops on his knees. Down, but not out. Gets up and straight into another bomb from Shad. Pow! Phil, I'm wondering whether we should have measured your the length of your neck before you went up there and afterwards. Yeah, it's pretty... I think he broke his pewter on my head. Well, does that mean you've got a hard head or he's got a hard head? Oh, uh, a thick head. No, not a thick head at all. In fact, you managed to stay on and you picked up five points. Hey, I'm used to my girlfriend hitting me. Not many guys who pick up five points against Shadow on the duel. Let's hear it for Shadow. What can I say, Shadow? Any man who's strong enough to break his weapon in the process is really one heck of a guy. I just wanted to give him a little reminder. So when he's sitting on the beach in Barbados, he think of the Shadow Man. Well, he's certainly never going to forget you, Shadow. Shadow in no doubt who's taking first prize this year after six events, Dean 26, Phil 31. So we now know the final scores with which our contenders will enter the Eliminator. So join us after the break for some nail-biting action here on Gladiators! It's Eliminator time! Gene, our long-distance lorry driver, only has a short distance to go now, while Paula, who should feel right at home here on this equipment, she, in fact, carries a two-point lead after six events, which gives her a one-second head start. Paula, you will start on my first whistle. Gene, you will start on my second whistle. Three, two, one... So, for a place in the final, this is it. Showtime, folks. Time to get it on. Past the high and low hurdles, and it's up the rope climb. And there's not much in it. On, on the overhead ladder, look at Gene. Run for run. Paul are making hard work of it. Gene across the rolling logs. And there's Paula's brother with the shades on. Obviously in the heavy metal and the man behind all the artistic banners you've been seeing. And Gene's going to do it first, so that means she goes across to the furthest zip line. and Son, keeping very cool, as must Jean on the balance beam. Paula's sister. And now, who's got the power in the legs as they come up the travelator? Jean stumbled, but she's going to pop it up there. Oh, she's got to do it for a place in the final. She should never have been here from a stand into a finalist. And so, the same story for Paula. And the crowd are going berserk. And there are tears. Jean, congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I don't know what to say. I had my heart in my mouth. Well done. Thank you very much. Thanks for all my supporters and my family and my friends. And the best thing out of all this is you'll be back in two weeks' time for our final. Well done, Jean! Well, Paula, it's been a long, hard night, hasn't it? Yeah. Enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, well done, G. It's harder than people think, isn't it? Yeah, the cargo net, you either do it well or you don't. You never know. But can I just very quickly say thank you very much, Palace Fitness Studio, where I work, and my family, family and friends. I can't believe how incredible they are. They're brilliant. You've got a lot of support here today, yeah. a lot of support. Sorry, you lost. Well done. Okay. Well done, Gina. Let's go over to John Sachs with a men's eliminator. Thank you, John. Phil has a five-point lead, which converts to a two-and-a-half-second head start. 
Well, Phil, you've got a two and a half second head start. Dean here has finished the eliminator in just 58 seconds. You've finished it in one minute and two seconds. That's a four seconds difference. So there's not a lot in it, really, is there? No, no, it's uh, obviously I like a bigger lead, but uh, it's, uh, it's going to be close. Now, Dean, this really is your forte, isn't it? Yeah, I really enjoy the Eliminator. This will be a brilliant event. Well, I wish you both the very best of luck and um, keep my fingers crossed for the both of you. <laughs> See you at the end. Well, Phil's going to need all of that two and a half seconds head start. We know and we've heard how fast Dino is over this Eliminator. Dean compared the physical demands of his job with Gladiators. Guess which one he thought was tougher. Well, being in the Royal Engineers, there's a lot of things that are challenging towards me, um, especially on exercise when we're in Germany. Not that I've done that many. Um, and in the job that I'm in at the moment, it is challenging training kids of 16 to 17 years of age. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. This is a different enjoyment. Um, it's me personally, and it's uh, my, my task in the end, or the end of the day, to do as best as what I can. So even, even though the two are quite alike, uh, I think this is a little bit harder in, its, in the different respects of the game. Well, if you've ever questioned the difficulty of these events, now you've heard it from an expert. Philip, you will start on my first whistle. Dean, you will start on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And now Phil knows he needs to make a bigger start as possible. We know what Dino can do on paper. Now it's down to grit and determination. And I'm not putting any money on this one. Across to the rolling logs. Phil only up a lead. Look at that technique as he walks up. And Phil, tremendous speed on the cargo net as well. These guys have been practicing. It looks like we're watching this in forward fast motion. Across the beam. Oh, Phil's off. And Mark can't bear to look. And Dino's off. No. What's happening here? This wasn't written in the script. A new record, surely, Duronimo. Expect the unexpected, but that one came out of nowhere. Phil is cream cracking, and his girlfriend Lynn is emotional. Phil, congratulations, that was amazing. That was 54 seconds. That is a new eliminator record. Well done. You need a drink. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I um, I know Dean was the fastest so far, and uh, the family sort of. Uh, I can't talk now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Phil, anyway. Let's hear it for Phil. Congratulations. Tremendous shame, Dean. Um, you don't need me to tell you that it was the beam that got you in the end. Yeah, I saw that Phil had dropped off. I tried to rush it too much. And uh, messed it up. Well, listen, there's one little bit of good news. <laughs> Next week, and the week after, I should be able to hear myself speak because there will be no Dino fans in the audience. Yeah, they've been brilliant. I just wish I hadn't let them down, that's all. And thanks a lot for the support. Well done. Let's hear it for Dean. And Dino hasn't let anybody down. I lost my shirt. I thought he was going to do it. But Shadow knew his man goes through to the final. Will he win it? All the contenders are great. This competition really is the ultimate challenge. Just to get through the tryouts, it requires superb fitness, determination and strength. Have you got what it takes to face the gladiators? Can you run 800 metres in two and a half minutes? Three minutes for the girls. Can you compete ten long-arm chin-ups? Five for the girls. And after all that, face the grueling hand ladder and rope climb, which must be completed in one minute. Finally, a pugil stick battle. to Phil and Jean and don't forget to watch next week when you can see the second of the semi-finals on the Gladiators!
attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on gladiators both contenders and gladiators have been trained for this competition and safety equipment is mandatory